today's video I'm going to talk about the um, last qualifying session of 2018. So let's get on with this now. So it, it was uh, Hamilton took his uh, 83rd pole. Um, um, Bottas will start in second, and um, next up it's the two. It's the two um, Ferraris, um, and then it's the two um, Red Bulls, uh, which I found qu quite interesting. I found that fact quite interesting. Um, it is also the fifth consecutive pole position for Mercedes at a. Uh, at Abu Dhabi, um, and um, there have been quite a few, few um, you know, they th there have been quite a few um, new things uh, in terms of cameras. I mean, uh, the main the main one being the the camera that that which Fernando Alonso used um is is gonna use for this weekend i'll try and find a picture of it and then um, i i show you but uh, I, I find that quite epic um, and i do think all, all drivers should be made to have that in their cop in their cockpit um i do believe he, uh, Alonso tried it, um, in, um, tried it in free, in a, in a pr previous free practice sessions, but it didn't pass, um, safety scrutineering or something, but, uh, now it, now it has, um, so I think it's a win-win situation for, for um Formula One um and um poor poor old Stoff van Dorm got um out out qualified again by Alonso um so that's um that is twenty one zero in qualifying terms to Alonso um which is a which is a bit upsetting for, which is a bit sad for Stoffel van Dorn, but anyway, um, but, um, the surprising, um, the surprise of the qualifying for me was that the two Torosos, um, didn't make it into the top, top ten shootout, um, you know, I think they would have performed a lot better. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I quite enjoyed the last qualifying session, um, you know, and in the build-up, of course, there was some um, talk about the whole Robert Kubica returning thing, and um, I, I'm not going to go into details in that and give you my opinion because I've done a whole, I've done a whole. Um, um, I've done a whole playlist of videos on Robert Kubica and his return to Formula 1. If you like, click on the i button somewhere up here so that you can, that, that you can check it out. Um, you know, do, do watch, do, feel free to watch it. Um, um, but I do want to mention uh, that uh, Billy Munger is looking for sponsorship um, to compete in the new Formula Formula Three se series next next uh, season. And um, I've got an idea. Um, you know, if I was Lewis Hamilton, um, I would. Say to him, oh, 
I'm going to organise the, fin the finance if and um, and support you and um, you then whenever you bring in the money I get 20% of of what you're earning in the future that way uh, Billy can Billy can get in, continue his motorsport career and hopefully get into into Formula One and um, potentially Lewis Hamilton has a new has another um, avenue of revenue. You know what I mean? So that's my idea. What what do you guys think about this? Anyway, um, um, fortunately or unfortunately, um, Billy won't get uh, the, the accolade of being the first disabled driver to make it into Formula 1 because that accolade has now been taken over, uh, taken on by, uh, by Robert Kubica um, who, who I do now, who, who I do class as being disabled after his accident, but um, for some reason the media don't seem to um, class him as disabled. I mean, they they talk about his limitation and all that, but for me, he is definitely a disabled driver. Not made it into Formula One now. So, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. I enjoyed the qualifying session, and uh, I'm out of here, guys. Cheers for watching. Bye.